Yay, we get to play around. So fucking loud, guys. It's okay, that's how we want it. Okay, so I started streaming this earlier. I kind of, uh, I caved in and gave up a little bit because I needed food. I needed so much food. Uh-huh. So that's what I did. Is I want to get food. I ate. Now I'm back. And we've been back for like 42 seconds. Wow, that's... I, I, I know that's only a minute, but it feels like it's been a shorter amount of time compared to that. I love the little video they did package they did for this. Like, I thought this was so awesome. So, this game has legit been amazing so far. Um, it was a true blue remake. Like, there's no, there's no if, ands, or buts. It's been that remake that everyone has wanted to see. Um, and that's been amazing in my opinion because oh, it's just been glorious it's been so glorious guys like I can't even begin to describe how glorious I felt it's been um, I did fix things a little bit so now that uh, after we get done the broadcast on here for anyone who may watch it we are going to be having everything previously broadcasted uploaded on the Ubertuber through the Zero Focus uh, YouTube itself and most people that know who I am don't know about Zero Focus. Not many people know who I am on here anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if I invited you in and you watched because I offered you to come in, there is another YouTube. Uh, Zero Focus Entertainment would be the name of the YouTube. It was a pet project that me and Bob are going to start so far. It's a lot of random BS, whether it was a tester for video based episodes of the Spreaker episodes what they once were or we did uh, Pokemon card openings because we wanted that nostalgic feel when we were children again so we thought hey this will be fun so let's give it a whack and we did and it was kind of fun for a little bit uh, no denial there it definitely was a uh, good time for a little bit but that time is coming past maybe again maybe in the future it might be fun I, I had my fun with it I, I got on board. I knew there was a set coming up where they were remaking the uh, original cards and going to reprint, and I wanted that original Charizard. I do have it somewhere. I'm not sure where somewhere is. It's it's floating around here somewhere in one of my many collections, collection drawers. Ah, uh, so I know it's out there. I'm not sure where out there is what or why. I think I think I think. I think we resolved the issue with it trying to uh, go ahead and be like, oh, well, this is until dawn. Except for a misspell, apparently. Hold on. But, uh, I hope it didn't misspell on the YouTube upload earlier. But basically, from my current standpoint and understanding, um, I fixed that because I was 1v1 Tommy something or other. I forget what his name was. Um, but I was 1v1-ing him. And, uh, <laughs> I think Jones, right? Tommy Jones or something like that. It was some odd, some odd name. I'm not sure. I don't even know who the hell that was. Um, obviously, you can tell because I can't remember the goddamn name. But, uh, I fixed that. Just playing the proper game. For some reason, um, it was saying we were playing Call of Duty last night when I was playing Until Dawn. Then when I'm playing this today, it's saying that we're playing Until Dawn. And I don't know what's going on. It just seems really... That's not the point, though, okay? Actually, I think I might have been playing Call of Duty with Andrew and did a stream, maybe. Maybe that's what happened. It was like... It's, according to Twitch, I signed into PS4 uh, like three years ago. Alright, so let's see what the actions are. I'm kind of curious. Wait, hold on. Wait, no one... Alright, that was... I didn't think that was... I saw the tokens next to it, and I couldn't get over to the tokens. Can I get out? Oh, I can hit the options to get out. Cool. Um... 
Yeah, no, I want to know what these tokens are. Because, uh, I didn't look that up, actually. I'm going to look that up. No, I'm not going to look that up. Alright, let's just play it. Let's blindly play. So I did try to start Knuckles a little bit. I was messing around with that. Um... God, that's still so epic, though. That is so epic. So, another basic thing from my understanding is, is when I played this, we're obviously in Green Hill Zone. I literally played, like, maybe two minutes of this at the end of the last stream. But from what it seems, it's a little bit different than Sonic's Green Hill Zone, so I'm guessing that he gets his own levels that are custom-tailored to him. Which would make sense. Um, so I'm not going to crush you. I'm going to ride with it. Uh, but we're on Flying Battery Zone with Sonic and Tails. So let's go ahead and continue off where we left off. Where I got frustrated while I was trying to eat. And um, we got to start all the way from the fucking beginning. That's great. Alright, you know what? I'm down. Let's play. I apparently killed Tails there. That seemed really unfairly bullshitty. That was also unfairly bull- Fuck you, Tails. Oh, look what I can do. This is what you're supposed to do, Sonic. No, I got that. How the hell did I get back up there? Alright, I'm not doing good. This was going so smoothly earlier. You can see my annoyance settling in as I try to play this game. <laughs> and I'm realizing I was doing so much better earlier, half asleep and dead hungry. Oh, this is not a good way to start this. Oh, God. It must have been exciting, exciting to pay attention to the snake when it was there. For anyone who doesn't understand that, Last night I was being chastised uh, uh, while playing until dawn because I was talking about trying to get like as much of the game experience as I could and then I got a little upset because I missed something. So for the most part for the rest of the night I had to listen to people tell me about how I missed the snake and it was important to the good ending. Now I'm not sure if there was a snake but we were so persistent on it I'm almost assuming it was like that little jokingly you know tease because let's face the fact anyone online that does any kind of gaming whenever they do the gaming there's always that person that has some kind of tease and they gotta pick on people somehow over something stupid um you know other gamers have stuff I don't specifically remember names or what they have but mine's gonna be the snake apparently and how I missed it Oh, 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 oh. Gotcha. I still don't understand what that does. Alright, you know what? Hold on, we're gonna look that up. I'm curious now. So let's find out what that does real quick, because I'm really lost. I, I've been playing this game, played it a couple hours earlier, and still no clue. Blue Green Box Sonic Mania. Thank you. Okay, so the combined range is something that's apparently been around before, but what? Where? 
While dashing through the chemical plant, I picked up some item, I don't recall what it was, that turned my reins blue in the corner. It didn't seem to make any sort of difference when I got hit and dropped them all, so what did the blue ring signify? Why would it? The question about Sonic Mania and the answer even states that the behavior and appearance are different between games. Apparently, this pickup is called Combine Ring, which has only been in one other Sonic games. Sonic game, Knuckles Chaotix. Never played it, that explains. The power-up causes your rings to group themselves into larger rings when you drop them, making them easier to pick up. Oh, okay, that's that's cool, I guess. That makes sense. Okay, so, combined rings. I like the concept, I guess. Yeah, I guess, uh, mystery solved. Mystery solved. Okay, so we'll go ahead and continue. I think the one place I get lucky when I do this is, like, uh... In this moment when we realize there's not many, there's no one watching, and I can still kind of talk myself through it. I'm used to that. That's the one beautiful thing about like the stuff I've done in the past is that that's pretty much what I'm used to, like from the days of old for me, is uh talking to myself like that. If that was something I used to do with Spreaker even. Alright, now I have to get... There we go. Got it. I'm going to get a little quiet here, guys, so I'm sorry. I want to make sure I focus. The key trick is just a lot of attention to detail here. I find if I get really quiet and I just constantly move move around like that's probably the best way for me to play it. Um, so I kind of got to go into a moronic state of uh, disillusion, I guess you could say. I'm pretty sure when I played earlier, I had uh oh I don't like that. Hi, you're dead. I'm pretty sure earlier I had um. Had oh, I missed the life, but I'm pretty sure I went ahead and I had the flame shield when I was doing this earlier. So, partially curious to what the deal is there, because quite you son of a bitch. That was my fault though. I can't really say. There's really nothing else to say aside from the fact that that was my fault. Luckily though, there's an extra. See, we have two viewers. Hi, people. Welcome to the broadcast. Don't do it again. Don't you dare do it again. There we go. I do gotta say, though, still... I might go backwards, though. Anyone know where I fucked up and went backwards? I'm not too sure what... Okay, gotcha. Well, that was short-lived. Kind of fun anyways, so, though, right? Grab that one. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I forgot these actors. Screams. Oh, that was the wrong moment. At least I was able to save some rings. Thanks to that combined box. That's great. I just almost got myself killed again. Alright. Why'd that work for you and not me? I thought there was one of those little cart things down there. Dollies.
I was waiting for that to cross me. So then what happens after you beat these? So I kind of get the concept of beating these. I probably shouldn't talk while doing this, my bad. Oh, right. You know, I get that we're trying to beat these, but then... If I'm not mistaken from kind of like looking at the facts here... There were a lot of those coins on the bonus screen page. The uh, extras. So then... What happens when we beat these? Because obviously, if you go back into like... The original game, there's only so many. Right? I was in open space here. Just range, okay, nothing is false wise. What about this way? Trap. Okay, so there are so many of those in the original Sonic. Did they make new ones or I'm sure people are catching what I mean there? I thought we were going to keep skipping along them. That would have been really cool, actually. Okay, I was here earlier. I remember this. this before Douchey McDouchers, so... though. Makes me happy to think, because I hate Douchey McDouchers. That's... Or we can fall. I wonder if we can just speedball up. Hold on. Oh, we almost could have, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, we made it. Made it either way. Yeah, no, so did they create new ones, or is that where we start seeing, like... Ooh. Is that where we start seeing, like, a return to Sonic 1 and the Sonic 2 stuff? Like, I'm trying to have an understanding, and I'd like to have an understanding, like... I would also love to see those levels, like, legit. Oh, I fucked that up, didn't I? Oh, so you're gonna go really good or really bad? Alright, really good, thank god. Almost. I actually had that pretty much, like, figured out for a second there, and then I fucked up anyways. <sighs> I can only save myself so many times, I suppose. It's really sad that, like, this game this game is actually providing me this much of a challenge. I guess that's a good thing, though. Wouldn't we want to challenge out of this game? I mean, I guess it wouldn't be as much fun if it was all easy, right? Excuse me. I miss that damn box every time. All oh, right, the rockets. So now they're gonna fire a hole into the uh, into the floor over there. Cause like I was saying earlier, if I'm not mistaken, this is the uh, it's the final level of Sonic 3. Yep. And then jump down. Again? Really, guys? I see that. I guess that would be useful. I can't get harmed by electricity. Yeah, why not? Why is that popped up? Oh, mobile live dashboard. Gotcha. That's what that's trying to tell me. Sweet. On to Act 2. This is where uh, I decided that enough was enough. I do love, I do, do, do love the combined elements of all these games, though. And I think that's... They, they not only gave us, like, the perfect remake... 
and perfect continuation all at once. But they just they they want above and beyond by trying to like incorporate all these elements, and I get it. It's not really it can't really be that much you know effort they had to go through because the games are so simple simplistic. But my God, it's just it's amazing. Like normally I get all like I try to get all like sarcastic, weird, and goofy about games I'm playing and shit like. That's how I have my fun with it, and, you know, be able to pick on it, whatnot. Or, you know, just be myself with it. This one I can't help but to admire a little bit for what it is. It just, it, it's perfect. It takes me back to my childhood. It hits all the right notes that we wanted. Like, it's just, it's great. It's just great. Let's do this again. Really? I backed into one? I was doing so good. The quiet theory was working. And I had to back into one. I got really confused for a second trying to... How'd you do that? How'd you glitch over there? I want to glitch over there. Damn it, Tails. Tails is like the guy that just does all the weird, questionable things, breaks every fucking wall. And no one questions any of this. Just, it's Tails, okay? Let's try one of these again and fail. Trial and error, right? I'll get it eventually. I'm gonna figure this out. I think it tried to put me through this one already. <clears throat> I'm also pretty sure I did miserably on it. God's game like psychotically fast. Oh, 
Oh, I have no clue how I did that. I'm so fucking thankful I did it, though. Oh, that's great. Alright, cool. I don't look like as much of a chump. Sure. I fucked up so many of those in this one gameplay. I have not been able to yet obtain the Chaos Emerald, but I specifically got that one. It up. I'm like looking for that button that's literally right above my head. It's like this game likes to mess with your head. Shield. So I don't want to have any of this shield. You know how useful that thing's gonna be? Of course, when I run out of time and I die because of that, that'll be my fault. There we go. It's easier because this thing will deflect like those. Makes it easier. I actually forgot about that until I was playing earlier because I, uh, I played through a decent chunk of this level earlier. Just unfortunately, I didn't. What the hell was that? Anyhow, I didn't do as great as I could have. And I was just really hungry and I was just waking up when I started doing this shit and I was not in any mood to do it. So I was like, alright, I'm gonna go get food. Overturn. Hey, on. We got something going on. I give me two seconds, folks. Just gotta make a call real quick.
Okay, so I'm gonna call this Sonic Mania the cursed level because now that I'm almost to the boss again uh, There's actually a situation outside in my real world life that I'm gonna have to take care of It's not really too time sensitive, but the quicker I get it out of the way the better probably so That being said what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna try to make a whack at this boss and if it works, we're good, and we'll pick up later where we leave off. If not, then I'm just going to have to play through this whole goddamn level again, which is just... <sighs> as much as I love seeing, like, this game reimagined. I don't want to do that, but... Alright, let's put some focus in this, try to get another coin. At least. God, that sucks. Alright. I was pretty sure that that uh, call was going to end up being something more important-ish. So I wanted to answer it. But I missed it by like two seconds. Screwed that one up anyways, I should have saved those for last, because I, uh, stupidly like a moron, hit that one and moved on, I shouldn't have done that, because that was just going to make it difficult to get out of anyways, unless again I ended with it. Try to do the ride or die theory, see if we can hit it. Alright, die. Alright, um, so I'm gonna have to end this. I could leave you guys on hold here, but I'm gonna probably be gone for about an hour. But after said hour, I would love to hop back on and I would love to continue more of this. That, or there's always, until dawn, we have to finish. Um,. I know I have a friend who wants to play GTA with me, so I can stream that on here too if I decide to do that. I'm just not entirely positive what the plan is going to be or how I'm going to play it out, but uh, as I figure it all out, I'll have some kind of solution. I might definitely be back later. I just want to play with this. Um, I had a lot of fun doing the online stuff. It takes a while to build off that audience, but once you do, man, it uh, it's a lot of fun. I'll take one more whack at this while I'm talking. I've always loved the ability to do it, like, the ability to be able to, like, be the entertainer for people, just... It's a lot of fun, realistically. Um, and every time I've done it, and I've done good, unfortunately, something's come, come up to where I've had to, like, drop it, and that, unfortunately, isn't how I wanted to... Uh, have it. Um, I would, uh, I would love the ability to try to pick back up. Um, maybe this is it. Not entirely, but to a point, maybe. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of play with this for a while. I know I still want to do some stuff with, uh, Spreaker. So, I know that's coming up in the future. I'm not entirely done with Spreaker. I'm never done with Spreaker, though. Um, that is one thing I don't think I've ever fully been done with. Uh, the you now stuff obviously is still there and I think would be yet another fun avenue to explore. So I might go ahead and play with that a little bit more in the future. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it. I, I, I feel like I have less free time on my hands than I'm used to.
It's a lot of being being around, man. Anyways, I know. Uh, I know there's been a lot less free time on my hands, which just kind of sucked and made things a little more difficult than they could be. But at the same time, I still feel like there is such an opportunity to be able to have fun with some of this stuff. Which is kind of what I want to do, and uh, like I said before, I've always like had fun gaming. And it is something that I did very painfully attempt before, but unfortunately it was a complete fail. So this is why I need to focus more and talk less. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it was a complete fail. Uh, there's still a video, like, on my personal YouTube channel. And for anyone brave enough to go check it out, it's the Campbell1290 channel. Um, I know, obviously, now we're kind of, like, on a note of zero focus. But... Oh, I messed up. But... Okay, we're not gonna do this. Um... However... However, um... I, I still think it's a fun concept. I've been able to, like, sit here and work myself a little bit better over the years, kind of develop better, you know, skill for this, where I'm not as, like, weak as I once would have been. Which is great. Oh. You know, once you really get a system with him, he's extremely easy. You just gotta be able to get a system. That can be said about any boss that's ever been in any Sonic game ever. Is you just need Ooh. The thing sucks if he lands on this side, you pretty much lost. He lands on the wrong side. There we go, got him. Um, no, but it was something I had a lot of fun with. I really didn't have much of a personality to do it back then. I was too nervous and too tensed up about it, which sucked. And it wasn't so much in the way that I sat here silently, like... I wish I sat here silently, like, uh, that was, uh, that's the case with a lot of people, they'll sit there silently, they won't really say much, they'll just kind of awkwardly, you know, mumble something every now and then, me, no, I had to try to make, like, the crappiest jokes and force myself to be as unnatural as possible. But, uh, definitely something that I think it would be kind of fun. To explore with a little bit more and play with. So Sonic's ability from Sonic 3 and Knuckles is now unlocked. I don't know what that is though. Um, so it's something I would like to play with eventually and we will. Just as we get there kind of thing. Ah, push this back. So I gotta run. I will be back later, and I will do this again, no guarantees on when or how or where, but uh, thanks to anyone that may watch this eventually, and have a great, fantastic Sonic Manian day-ish, sounds right, I'm rolling with it, I'm fine with that, it's the perfect exit, peace.